Hey, Petty Fan, we're back with another video. We're doing, I offered 20K to Brooklyn's boyfriend to kick Brooklyn out. Let's get into it. What's up? What's up? It's my housekeepers. Yeah, we said it. Uh, Long time no see, bro. Nah, for real. How you been? I'm been good, my nigga. I've been chilling. You know what I'm saying? How you been? Chilling, bro. Christmas, you know? Yeah, yeah. That shit. So we know I'm chilling. Chilling, chilling. Tell me on, bro. They telling me breaking over here, moving with you and shit. Where's she at? She at the crib. Oh! Even her nails done. Why? What's, what's, what's going on? You know I'll fuck with you, bro. Nah, for sure. Nah, with bro. The dribble. Uh, Bernard, you think? Cause I really want to. Do you think yeah, we record this on some special? I got you. I got you. Just, you just holding stuff like this. Yeah. Oh, uh, I fuck with you, bro. That's some real sure. shit. You, you know, I got you like a brother. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And hold on one second. I'm just. I'm talking. I'm talking. Excuse me. Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, I'm talking to my man right quick. I'm talking to my man. I just, you know. Uh, I feel like honestly. On some real serious shit, I fuck with you, but I don't think that's the right move. What you mean that's not the right move? Bro, I'm like a sister, 17 years old. Bro, that got nothing to do with you, bro. Where, like, I don't even know where you're coming from, bro. Listen, 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 bro. Go ahead, bro. My sister's 17 years old. You a grown-ass nigga, bro. Nigga. I don't give a damn. Okay, what you but I'm saying you let my sister... Think you you supposed to be on like you a nigga, bro. What I'm supposed to be on? What I'm supposed you to be supposed on? to know what's the right things? You know she's going through some shit that she don't know what she want, bro. You supposed nigga, to be what the hell, bro? My nigga, at the end of the day, my nigga, did your mama say yes? Bro, I don't know what my did mama, mama said. Say, I don't give a nigga, fuck. You just went over there, my said. nigga. I don't give a fuck what my mama said. That's my sister. That's cool. She's at my crib right now, bro. What you gonna, you can't do nothing to stop that, my nigga. At the end of the day, bro, we made cheap ass me, bro. As a nigga, as her nigga, I'm gonna say, yeah, what I'm gonna tell my girlfriend? No, you can't move in. I said, as long as your mama's cool with it, my nigga, you Nigga, why you just send her to my brother? Why I ain't getting no call? Why I ain't getting nothing? I'm a brother. Nigga, you her damn brother. I'm brother, her like, brother. Tell somebody brother. Nigga, if your girl asked you to move, you gonna call her fucking brother? Hell no, you're not gonna call her brother, nigga. Nigga, nigga, no. All right, she's not 17. So it don't matter. You got you were supposed to hit me up, bro. I'm not hitting you up, my nigga. What I'm hitting you up for, my nigga? I thought you was my brother, bro. That was not. Nah, we in. Oh, oh, right, but I didn't. Or are you just talking to me because it's convenient for my sister? Come on, my nigga. You talking to me because it's convenient for your sister, nigga? You trying to talk to me because I'm her boyfriend, trying to get cool with the boyfriend, nigga? Because you talking so you about it, right? There's three of you, bro. There's been you. You're right. There's been three of you. You're right. So it don't matter. You're right. But listen, bro, listen, just listen, bro. I'm, I'm not even trying to nigga. argue, I'm not even trying to nothing. Listen. I have a proposal for you. to my nigga. But a proposal for what? Listen. All that, all that's cool, bro. I got 20 bands. And I know, bro, you down bad, all that stuff, bro. This shit's been low, all this shit. What up, my nigga? What up, bro? My nigga, don't I play can, me, though. I can help you, bro. Listen, just listen for real. Some serious shit. I got 20 bands, bro. I've been, I've been working. I've been moving shit. I've been working with the right people. I got 20 bands. I'm not... I don't want no money. Listen, bro. Listen, I don't want listen. No money, bro. I got 20 bands. All you have to do is keep working. <laughs> Bro, just listen because, bro, all that shit, like this money, bro, it's gonna be take care of everything else. Anything you need, bro, I promise you, it's good. This is just 20 bands to hold you over. Any rent, all that stuff, bro, it's nothing. Bro. I got money, it's nothing. But I'm not gonna let my sister be moving in with you, bro. I'm not just being dead ass as a brother on some real shit. I don't feel right in my soul. My dad not in our life hella like that, you know what I'm saying? He in Seattle, like, I don't feel right having my sister move in with you. And I wanna give you this as a it's like he's taking on you know father like roles you know with her and so he don't want her to end up in you know an adult situation she can't handle in a way you know and so that's where he's coming from it's 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 controlling ish sometimes but it's also because he loves her and it's in a place of love you know and so that's where he's coming from it's not like a 
manipulative, I'm trying to control you kind of thing. It's just that, you know, he's been older and he's seen, you know, some things. And so he doesn't want, he's protective of his sister, you know, in, in a, a certain way. So it's like, although I appreciate her independence and I appreciate him trying to, you know, look out for her and keep her out of trouble. Offering money to a boyfriend is probably not the best move, but he's desperate. So that's where this is coming from. It's a place of love, but it may be a bad decision. It is a bad decision. Because, you know, you, how do you enforce that? You know? Just a gesture, and she's not going to listen to me. I can't give this to her. And you can't tell her, bro. What's the risk? You can't tell her. Like, you're trying to bribe This Listen, it's not bribe, bro. Listen to me. I'm giving you this so you can just... Let, bro, she's gonna... Bro, she has family that loves her, bro. It's not like you're kicking Nigga, her out. I love her too, I know, bro. but it's not like you're kicking her out the street, bro. Take this, bro. Take this. Bro, you try, but bro, I'm just... Bro, that's my girl, bro. You trying to buy me to kick my girl out to y'all, bro? Bro, it's not a bribe. Kick her out so she can see, see how real life is. She's too damn... Surrounded by just yes, yes men around, bro. She don't have nobody, bro. Yes, man. I'm yeah. just saying, bro. Nobody's showing her how real life is. She needs to know how the real world is. She needs to know go outside and learn her own struggles. She's gonna be 18 years old, bro. Too young to be moving around with some with some nigga, bro. I'm just keeping it honey. Bro, what you mean with some nigga though, bro? That's I like, don't bro. feel comfortable, bro. Would you let Would you let your sister stay with me? What the fuck? I'm would you let your, not not your younger sister? She's 12. Uh. <laughs> he said in theory, she wasn't 12, right? <laughs> but that's what he's saying. It's like, just like if your sister was 17, you wouldn't let her stay with me, you know? So that's what he was saying. But he, he's just desperate. You know, I, I don't even think it's manipulative in the sense that he's trying to control her life. I think it's more that he just, he just, it's, it's moving too fast. Like, they didn't get ready for her growing up, you know? So she was nine, and all of a sudden she's 17 or something. If you had a sister that was, like, 18, would you let her stay with me? It's different. With the thought, I could be smacking them cheeks every day. What? Would you let your sister stay with me? Oh, what? Would you let your sister stay with me, bro? Yes or no? Bro. Just Hell no. Okay, so exactly, bro. What I'm trying to say is take this money, bro, and I promise you, don't want to hear none of that shit. Don't tell her none of this came from me. This is your own decision. This is why you want her out. Come up with a reason, and I promise you, bro, everything after that will be taken care of. Bro, am I really, is this really causing so much drama, bro? It's like, is her moving in with me causing that much commotion, bro? I will do it for you. So if I take the money, bro, all the drama shit gonna end, bro. Yes, bro. You take this money out of your hair, bro. I'm done. I promise. Hey, bro, you won't even hear no more problems. I promise you. All that shit over. Everything, all that shit everything's gonna over. be over. Mode. Everything, I mean, all this argument, bro, it's over. It's done. I'm loving everybody. No more problems. I promise you. There's some more money in there. No, this is my drug time. You know what I'm saying? I got shit in here and shit. I got the same. Got them chains. Oh, that's what you want. That's what you want. You know what I'm saying? really hard to refuse 20k though you know honestly it probably is well you got real bills you know and so think about it like judgment wise you know you look at like okay he shouldn't have did that you know justin shouldn't took the money which is true but you know the position that that the in brooklyn and her family is is different than the position he and he just got to move out you know, he moved away from his hometown and his mama's house, you know, so all this is new. And you got real bills, you know, living in L.A. You got real, real, real bills that are very expensive, you know. And he doing well with his channel, but it's still fresh, you know. And so it go a long way. It really does. And, you know, I'm sure he had second thoughts afterwards, of course. So... 
manipulative kind of good intentions sort of you know so you just pray for all of them really <laughs> You know, I guess that's what happened. And that's why I said, you know, my heart goes especially to them too because it's like, when you got big brothers that can make things happen, <laughs> you know, how you supposed to find love in these streets? <laughs> anyway, I hope it all resolves itself. Like I said, I like them all. I like each and every one of them. And, you know, you just got to pray them through. But it's, it's entertaining to watch, that's for sure. <laughs> Like, comment, subscribe, share if you care. Click the bell and become part of the Notice Squad.